in London and this is the first leg of my tour. I'm Delith Morgan and I'm Chief Executive at Breast Cancer Campaign. What I'm doing is going around the country visiting the research projects that Breast Cancer Campaign fund. We know that 48,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer every year and of those, 12,000 women go on to die. This is something that we have to change and our research is all about doing that. My first stop will be at Guy's and St Thomas's Hospital. There I'm going to meet Dr Eleanor Sawyer and she's going to tell me all about the research that we're funding. As we all know, the breast's main function is to produce milk. Breast milk is made in tiny bag-like structures called lobules and is carried through tubes called ducts to the nipple. Most breast tumours arise from these ducts, but breast cancer can also occur in the lobules too. Dr Sawyer has been looking at this less common type of breast cancer as she explains. So the two types of breast cancer that I'm interested in are lobular breast cancer, which is something called LCIS or lobular carcinoma in situ. The other type of breast cancer that I'm interested in is something called ductal carcinoma in situ. Ductal carcinoma is the most frequent type of breast cancer. To distinguish between the different types of breast cancer, researchers need to look at the tumour under the microscope. Eleanor and her team showed me how this was done. Thin slices of the tumour sample are carefully placed on a glass slide and stained with dyes to show up the cells in the tumour. Finally, a cover slip is glued onto the sample to protect it so it can be studied for many years to come. That's quite incredible to think that all the staining in there, that that's showing up the kind of architecture of the cells is really quite something actually. To learn how a person's genes might influence their risk of developing LCIS or DCIS, Dr Sawyer looks at DNA samples taken from these patients. So the technology now means that we can look at lots of different genetic changes that people have and so from that information we can really start to understand people's genetic makeup and what um, they may have inherited from their parents that puts them at risk of getting all sorts of different types of breast cancer. But the work that you're doing now, how long do you think it might take before you can see what you're doing, actually changing practice around the country? All these things take quite a long time to um, reach the general public um, because of course they will have to be validated, we need mm. to make sure that our findings are robust. But I think certainly over the next 10 years or so there will be a huge shift in this type of research and that actually it will start to come into the clinic. So it's a very exciting time to be in genetics and I think that we're all going to see huge changes over the next 10 years or so. And as well as being a scientist, um, you also have another job, don't you? I mean, you spend a lot of time looking after patients. I think that's one of the reasons that I'm so enthusiastic about research, is because I see patients every day who develop these mm. problems. And obviously I want to do my best to try and make sure that we can try and improve um, treatment and diagnosis for them in the future. Breast Cancer Campaign supporters raise millions of pounds to support research all over the country. And it's very, very reassuring for our supporters to see the amazing work that you're doing. We're very proud of what you do and thank you. Well, I think we always have to say the same thing back to you, mm. that obviously we um, are very grateful for all the money that people raise for breast cancer campaigns. It allows us to do these, um, this type of research, which we certainly um, hope will really change um, the way we treat patients in the future. Well, good luck. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> This first stop of my tour has been just as interesting and inspiring as I'd expected. Meeting our funded researchers and hearing about the incredible work that's being done only confirms how important your support is to Breast Cancer Campaign. Thanks to you, Campaign has in total funded £40 million worth of grants throughout the UK and Ireland, which means that scientists like Eleanor can continue their important work helping us to understand breast cancer and ultimately one day find a cure. Thank you very much.